Okay. We're back once again. Still talking about a couple of prima donnas because I didn't have enough time to do it last time. Um, the prima donnas of uh, relational databases. Boy, oh boy. Now we're going to talk about the designers. Um, I'd say almost every shop has at least one person who takes on the responsibility of uh, the design work. Some places have more. Uh, a lot of outfits end up <coughs> outsourcing a lot of this type of work because it's actually building up the actual um, the actual application and uh, and the uh, and how it's used. Um, if we want to keep up uh, in the video before we talked about uh, water, you know, plumbing. Okay, you got your database administrator, he's a plumber, or they're the plumber. Sorry, I don't need to be gender specific. Um, uh, the database administrator is the custodian of water. Make sure your water's clean, make sure your water is pure, make sure everything's good, and that you can get to it. Well, that's a plumber's job. Sorry, don't mean to mix mix it. Well, um, the designer ends up being what you do with that water when it gets uh, to your house. Like, let's take, for instance, the toilet. Oh, boy. Why did I have to do that? I could have used a sink, but no. Toilets are more fun because they're more tricky. Right now, I'm having problems. One of my, one of my toilets isn't flowing very well here at home. It's not, uh, you know... You put stuff in and it's supposed to flush down and out, right? And right now I don't have good flow on the, on the, on. Anyway, it's an application, okay? It's something you use water for. And that's what all this stuff is for. You can think of this as, as the guys that come up with the toilet. And uh, all about how, how water's routed in it so that it can do its function right. Um, or your shower or your sink or whatever, whatever applications you want to use water in. Um, a sprinkler system is a wonderful analogy. If you've ever had to dig up your lawn or have somebody else do it, which is far more likely, um, and they put in their sprinkler system, right? And it's got the head and the piping and it all goes everywhere. And it's got timers and things like that. That is exactly how you need to think about doing database design. That's what it's all about. Um, and you can think of it as an end user that way, or even as the guy who has to run your sprinkler system. Um, you might not worry about those pipes down there very much at all. That's somebody else's problem. Somebody else has already done that work for you, done the design of how it's supposed to go into your lawn so it covers all the space that you want. And your job is to figure out, uh, to, to program the timer, for instance. Um, hopefully that's not too tough of a job because you've outsourced everything else that needed to be done. You can do it the way I do it, which is I use one of those little, you know, those, those sprinklers that goes you know, and uh, you have to move that thing around. Yet you have to do a whole lot of the of the work uh, manually that would normally be done. I'm that kind of a guy, so I would tend to be kind of light on the reform and report design. I'm a very minimalist guy, um, because I don't want to spend the money on that. And that's what happens in business sometimes. You you have to make money decisions. You manager types. Um, you need to make it so that it fits into your budget and what your people are prepared to do. If you have a good person who doesn't mind going out and and moving that sprinkler around, or these are all metaphors, I hope you understand, um, to, to help get the coverage that you need. Um, that's great. You know, then you don't have to spend the money to bring in a really expensive, uh, a really expensive sprinkler system that needs a lot of interesting maintenance and, and you have to spend money on it all the time to keep it functioning. Um, anyway, uh, forms and reports, like we said, forms are, are the information basically coming in 
and reports are basically the information going out. Um, uh, forms are more for data entry. Reports are more for people on the other side who want to be able to take actions based on the information that they get. Um, uh, the database designer is the guy, is kind of the analog to the database administrator. They actually use, they're actually the people that put together how the database is going to be, um, is going to actually work. Uh, anyway, um, uh, most organizations, and it's getting like this more and more and more and more, uh, will, will outsource this function. And there are generalized um, frameworks uh, for these things. Uh, what's a good example? SAP, which I have absolutely no experience with using, but I know that one of their specializations is in providing both the database and the framework used for a lot of markets. And they tend to go for vertical markets, so they tend to say, okay, we're going we're gonna to do banking, we're going to do... Um, I don't know what else SAP really gets into. I think they might get into medical pretty hard. And uh, they, they, uh, they spend most of their time and effort being your solution or your sprinkler system for your business. That's If you want to know the one primary reason why it doesn't matter what uh, – business you go to, what bank you go to, it doesn't matter what hospital you go to, they all tend to run almost exactly the same. It ha typically has to do because of their IS system, their database design. Um, they usually buy it. And if you buy it from the same vendor, it, pr it ends up looking a whole lot like everything else. Many businesses actually, when they purchase a new database system, uh, they will actually change their business to conform more to the database just to simplify things. Um, uh, many database, the, the whole point of databases is to try to make it so you can customize it and make it your own. We see that technology going away or just to just not being utilized because it's just too difficult. And usually you don't have the manpower to really do a lot of customization so you don't bother. It's easier to manage. It's easier to do because primarily what you have at your company is going to be database administrators and data administrators. You don't really end up having a lot of designers at all. And uh, so that's what kind of happens. And uh, you fall into these, I don't know if they're traps, but they're just realities that happen. It used to be your business had small enough database needs that you could have one or two people and they would even design your database for you and it was very customized just to your particular business. That's not so much true anymore. Mostly we get pre-packaged, prefab uh, solutions and we might just tinker around with it. Sometimes only so far as to put your logo up in the corner to say that it's you. Um, so there you go. There's your prima donnas and hopefully a little background into exactly why uh, database, how, how databases drive your business. You wish it was the other way. It's, it's like the tail wagging the dog, but that's reality. That's how it works. And uh, you can fight if you want to, but it's going to cost you a ton. And most places just flat don't have the resources to do anything different than what they're doing. And they hope and pray that their database administ uh, that, that their database vendor is uh, uh, they pick the right one because usually it's a it's a it is a life or death relationship. <laughs> so um, know that you might get sucked into that as a manager as to figuring out what database you're going to use. Changing databases is horrible. It's like getting a full body transplant. If you've ever heard of that stuff. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.